that this change for leadership in unity party is necessary and so we're calling on all of you for your support i told some of the delegates this morning that i'm not in the business too much of making a lot of promises because they have some bad experiences the people who have made promises to them and weren't able to keep those promises but it's important that we work together and if we work together we can achieve and so again unity party needs to move forward we have to change this leadership and bring on board some fresh ideas and some of the candidates up here are great candidates and those of us who are going to be blessed today by you to take UP to the next level that we will take the business very seriously so again all of the delegates even my friends up here on stage I'm soliciting your support for the secretary generalship of the unity party and if you vote me into this position, you can rest assured that you have a fighter. You have somebody who will stand beside you. Somebody who will hold the dignity of this party the way it needs to be. And somebody who can assure that 2023 is victory for Unity Party. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kabakoli, for speaking in the confines of time. With that being said, we continue with uh, the exercise. Let me now call on the podium partisan Mo Alain to present his platform while people should justify his eligibility for the position. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, all protocols observed. Well, I will start in the reverse order um, to give you what I think the Sakitaria should be like and then in the end I will talk about myself a little bit. Um, I've come to this platform with 23 years of membership to the Unity Party. We are vying for the Secretary General position in order to have a very proactive secretariat not only the secretary we want this secretariat to be strong to be vibrant to be responsive and engaging on national issues we also want to build a very strong and responsive record keeping system of the UP so that tomorrow when you want to know something about the unity party at the tip of your finger you can get that information we also want to work with secretaries or the secretariats of the counties to treat them in dissemination information to treat them in engaging intellectual fora to treat them in writing press releases because these are things that we take very lightly but they are very very important uh, to our secretary general we also want to properly coordinate the secretariats of the various county chapters and to train our PROs we want to articulate the vision and ideologies of the unity party to the public in the simplest way in which it will be understandable even by a total law and also as one of the progenitors of the collaborating political parties we've got the relationship with the secretariats of other constituent political parties we want to strengthen the relationship with them so that when the unity party takes over the secretariat of the cpp we will have a working relationship that is seen nowhere and so talking about myself, I am a 1997-98 graduate of the Adventist High School or 2006 graduate from the biology department of the University of Liberia. I was a very staunch and stalwart member of the Vanguard Student Unification Party 
I obtained a master's degree in water sanitation and health engineering in 2014 from the University of Leeds in the UK. I've come to this podium with lots of experience both in the private and public sector. I've had experience in the political arena playing key roles in our country political sectors. And this is something that I am going to be proud to say. I am a founding member of the Council of Patriots. Until up to yesterday, I was the Secretary General of the Council of Patriots. And I had to resign that position because I have been promoted to the Advisory Council of the Council of Patriots. That tells you my level of understanding of politics in this country. We've been able to move things. We've been able to shake things. And the Secretariat of the Unity Party needs to move forward and be... Thank you. One minute is enough. We need to move forward and be very strong. So I solicit the support of the delegates and the partisan in order to have a very vibrant Secretary of the Unity Party. Thank you. That does it from uh, the presentation of partisan Mo Ali to the listening audience. I now call on the podium partisan Amos. B2 to tell us why he should be preferred to others. Thank you. All protocol observe, distinguished fellow partisans and observers at this very important occasions. Occasion. I'd like to begin with my my um, education and then I will narrow down on my vision for a very viable and vibrant national secretariat of uh, the Unity Party. Amos holds Master's of Science degree in Planning and Project Management from Birmingham City University, United Kingdom. I have a BA in Sociology and uh, Government from the African Methodist Episcopal University. I hold two postgraduate certificates, one in uh, financial management from the Duke University, United States of America, another one in renewable rural energy from Nachan College of Foreign Studies, People's Republic of China. And I also have, you know, a certificate in grassroots party mobilization from CP, uh, CPC, Communist Party of China. My vision for a very viable secretariat for a party that finds itself in opposition is anchored on three critically important pillars, critically important pillars. The first pillar is effective communication, which is very largely lacking or hugely limited in the Unity Party as we speak. And how do we intend to ensure effective communication? Is by effectively coordinating the various substructures and cutting branches and organs of the Unity Party. So that when a decision is taken by the national leadership of the UP in real time, that decision can filter down to the local structure of the UP and they can be able to take ownership of it. The other aspect of my vision is also about establishing cadre training classes for the young colleagues of the Unity Party, which is one of the critical things that is lacking amongst political parties in the Republic of Liberia. Not many leaders of political parties will tell you the strategic vision or will tell you about the ideology, about the founding principle, about the strategic direction of a political party. One of the things we're hoping to achieve when I have the opportunity with uh, uh, being elected as National Secretary General is to ensure we establish cadre training classes for these young colleagues here so that they will be able to clearly understand what the UP stands for, where the UP came from. At the moment, that knowledge is for the most part limited. So this is something we intend to introduce working with the leadership of the Unity Party. Another thing is that there is something that we, we consider to be internal governance architecture of a political party. The work of a secretary general is to always ensure that you liaise with the local party leadership to come up with what we refer to as critical analysis about what the party status is across the various counties, the districts, and even at the zonal level. So we're hoping that as National Secretary General, I will be able to work with the leadership of the Unity Party so that from time to time, we can conduct what we refer to as assessment of the strength of, of, of our legislators, for example, our lawmakers. What are they doing 
or what are they not doing better that they're supposed to be do to increase their popularity. So I'm hoping as National Secretary General, from time to time, we can be able to ensure that we work with the, um, the Unity Party lawmakers to ensure that the that popularities are increased. And what is very important is that as we move towards election, these kinds of assessment and analysis are very important for sustaining a political party and for ensuring a total win for the Unity Party lawmakers and even those who want to become lawmaker on the ticket of the Unity Party. So I want to say thank you and I call on all of the candidates look in our direction because we are a son of the Unity Party. I grew up in the party. I have more than 20 years of experience as a politician. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, may we please rise as we welcome our political leader on the platform. <laughs> Thank you very much, thank you very much for our entertainment DJ. Baruka, Baruka, please. Baruka is very necessary, but please, because of time factor, we don't want to entertain that for now. Please. We we'll beg your indulgence. We want to recognize the presence of our political leader, the person of Honorable Joseph Nimabaka, for being part of today's exercise. Having listened to candidates vying for national secretary general position of the United Party. We want to use this time again to afford them the opportunity to cross-examine each other within the confines of women. The reason why we couldn't summarize the summary is because we understand that everyone uh, listen to the presentations of their platforms. That's the reason we couldn't give you the details. With that being said, the various candidates can now decide in relation to cross-examination. All right, Mr. Kabakole declines. Please consume one minute. Thank you. My question goes directly to contestant Jake Kabakoli and a secretary general position of a party is a position that comes with commitment and we have known you to be a founding member of the Congress for Democratic Change and there has been no history of your resignation from that institution can you clarify for us please Thank you. partisan Jake Kabakoli how do you address that question Please address it within one minute. Thank you very much. Uh, prior to the question from my young brother, uh, when he declared that he's followed politics for, I think he said 20 some more years, apparently that may not be true. Because when I resigned, the CDC was a national matter. It was all in the newspapers. It was all over the radio. It was all over the radio stations and even if, if on international wires. So if he missed that, then he must have been sleeping. He wasn't following politics. Thank you. Partisan Tue, do you have a question? Thank you very much. We're true with uh, the cross-examination of uh, the contestants for national secretary general position. We move to CEO National Vice Chair. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, three questions from the audience. Three questions from the audience, preferably delegates, 14 delegates. Okay. To any of the candidates. 